What's going on everyone? So today is definitely gonna be a much different episode than we're used to doing. It's much more of like a vlog. Surprise. A surprise video. Because yep. I haven't told you guys anything about what's happening today. But we have some big news that's coming and it's gonna make all these videos coming up in the near future, would you say like 50 times better? Yeah, a lot more fun. A lot more, a lot fun. more fun. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, it's been way too long. Say hello to the new baby. So many cool things are about to happen. The Brent Shermer channel is going to be growing. I'm just never going to shout out your channel. No. Right, that'll be your shout out. Don't go follow Captain Tater. At Captain Tater. At Captain Tater. I will have it listed down below and you can check it out if you want. Just don't subscribe. You can give him as many views as he wants, but just do not subscribe because his ego will get huge. Oh my god. <laughs> So right now we just gotta get this boat back home and then we're gonna get on the lift and then just kinda situate everything from there and we also have some mangrove snapper after you for lunch. But then after that, we're gonna take it back out. I'm gonna give you guys a full walkthrough on everything that's on this boat. You ready to rock? Let's do it. my new little baby. This is a brand new 2019 Sea Hunt 22 BXBR. And this thing is gonna make this channel, make these videos that are coming up this next couple months, for the next like years, so much better. So let me give you a little walkthrough of everything that's on here. We're gonna start up in the bow. So first we got a Nin Kota trolling motor. It's 112 pound thrust. I think it's a 72 inch shaft. And this thing, it's got the spot lock, it's got a freaking Bluetooth over there that connects to your phone, so it's super accurate with everything. So when I go, if I'm in these no motor zones, it'll be super nice for that. And I'm main thing I'm mostly excited for is when I'm offshore at a wreck or anything, I can just drop this in, use the spot lock, and it'll keep me there without having to throw an anchor and having to position everything with that. So I'm super excited about that. Here, I got the typical anchor locker. Got the anchor that came with the boat there from Pro Marine. Standard stuff. Come back here. Got some big hatches. As you can see, big casting platform up here. Lots of room to move around. Big toe kick right there. So you're not falling off this boat unless you're stubbing all your toes. Little rod storage right there on either side. And then you got this big storage right here. They could probably use as a fish box if you want to throw anything in there. Probably just put a bunch of life jackets and stuff in there. Again, rod lockers on this side. Very nicely laid out. So at the console, the main thing that you're gonna see here is this SimRad display, the 12 inch SimRad. It's got the sounder down there. It's got the map that's freaking out right now for some reason, but it's huge. You can, I got split screen going on right now. It's gonna be perfect for everything I'm gonna be doing. We also got the JL audio. Uh, system here and we got some speakers that are set up all around the boat and we've already been blasting this thing and it works very well 
and all these other standard uh, switches got your live oil, the horn, and everything like that. So something that we made sure to get with this boat is this jack plate right here. So on this boat, we have a six inch Sea Star jack plate. As you can see, all it does is raise and lower the engine itself, which will help us uh, get up on plane and just not scrape bottom while we are on plane in shallow water. There we go. That's all the way down. As you can see, we got a little, little storage area right here. So we can put like keys or anything while we're just sitting there fishing. And it's got a little lip on there. So if you're running, you can make sure things aren't going to float away, float away, fly away. So up at the top of the console on the T-top right here, got our VHF radio, it's Simrad right there. And it's also a bunch of storage. We got just our extra keys and uh, lifts for the, the boat lift and everything right there. And up here we have our switches for our different lights, our spread lights and courtesy lights on the T-top. And we also have these freshwater misters right here. So on these super hot days, especially during the summer, turn that on and fresh water would just mist down on you and cool you down real quickly. And you can look back here, we also got uh, four normal, uh, whatever you call them, rod holders in the back here. And then on the sides, we have two extra kingfish rod holders right here. So if we're out trolling or anything, that makes it super easy. And also we can just hold more rods on here. So we're looking at the leaning post now. Something I really like about this is these flip up seats right here. So if you like to stand while you're driving the boat, this is perfect because it supports your lower back right here. But if you have someone sitting next to you or you want to sit down, you flip it down and it's a big sitting area right here. And it also, if you flip these up, you can see that there is a foot rest here too. So flip these down, sit down on it, put your feet right there, it's super comfortable, especially for the person sitting here next to the driver. So we'll flip those up, and then got the backrest on the leaning post here with the four different rod holders here. And something that's really nice about this boat specifically is this tackle station that comes with this boat. So if you can see, the main feature is the massive live well that's built into it right here. I'm pretty sure it's 30 to 35 gallons. I'll have to look that back up. But as you can see, it's got a little, uh, what would you call it? It's got a little uh, station right here where you can keep your pliers, a bait knife. You can have different rigs already rigged up and ready to go there. If you look on the sides, it's got little areas for your uh, tackle. You can put different uh, tackle trays and everything. You can put more knives, another pair of pliers or something. And it's got something just like this on the other side. But my favorite feature about this entire leaning post and something that really or sold me on Sea Hunt boats is the standard bottle opener right here. This is a game changer. Every boat brand needs these. So we move to the back of the boat here. We got these three different seats right here. It's got little clips, you flip them up. So it's a, well, you can fit a lot of people on here if you're going to like the sandbar, you just have a lot of people going out fishing while you're riding. You can fit three people here at least. And then underneath here, you can see we got our battery and battery switches. And we just got a nice little storage area here. You could use this as a cooler, maybe like a little trash can if you have some cans or anything you want to throw in there. Flip that back. Same thing over here. We got seat, flip it up. And we got more batteries and the battery charger right there. So if we move back, we have two more little areas back here. So we open this up. And this is a second live well back here. This boat actually comes with three different live wells. We got the one here, the one built in the leaning post, and then there's one up underneath the front seat, up in front of the console. So go ahead and close that. And then this section back here, storage for a five gallon bucket, which is gonna come in handy when I have to put a cast set in here. That's exactly where I'm gonna put my probably 11 foot cast set that I have. So at the back of the boat, this boat is rigged with a Yamaha F200 XB. This is a very reliable motor, and what really sold me on it is the great fuel economy. We're running over here at about 30 miles per hour at about uh, 4,000 RPMs, and we're still getting four miles to the gallon, which is amazing for a boat like this. And over here on the side, we got a 10-foot power pole. This thing, Swift, Silent, Secure, you know all about that. And this thing is the ticket when it comes to inshore fishing over here. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I know it's a lot different from what I usually post, but this is such a big day for me, and I'm super excited about what this can bring for this channel. So if you guys like this new setup and like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That would really mean a lot to me. If you want to see more videos involving this boat and all the fishing we're going to be doing on it, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode.